Hey guys, Technically Jeff here, and today I am testing out this Tesla to J1772 adapter from Electron. Now, this adapter is similar in theory to the Tesla tab that I previously reviewed, and that it allows you to charge your non-Tesla EV at Tesla Level 1 and Level 2 charging stations, like destination chargers you'd find at hotels and shopping centers, but not superchargers. And while it does work and is less expensive than the Tesla tab, there is one big caveat. So let's get to the test. I have a Tesla Level 1 charger here that Zach at EV Resource was gracious enough to let me borrow, and we'll plug it into the Electron adapter. It's definitely a nice and tight fit, and ideally it would function like the Tesla tap in that we would just plug it into the car and it starts charging. So let's test it out. It plugs in easily. And we'll come around here. And the car just said charging unsuccessful and it's not charging. So let's try that again. We'll unplug it, and this time we're going to plug in the adapter and wait 30 seconds. Supposedly that can help make it work. While we wait, I will say the Electron adapter does look good. I like the overall look with the matte black. The quality seems solid, and I just like the design here. All right, now let's plug it in and see what happens. Unsuccessful. and charging unsuccessful again. So I had heard that there were issues with the eGMP vehicles in particular, the EV6, Ionic 5, GV60. So to get around this, here's what we need to do. We'll plug the car in to the adapter like normal. Then we'll go inside the car and wait for it to say charging unsuccessful. Then we'll push the power button like we're starting the car, and that enables the charging. Then we'll push the power button again to turn the car back off, and it will continue to charge. Coming around the back here, you can see it is still charging, and that's one way to bypass the issue. Another way is once the car is plugged in and charging is unsuccessful, you can open up the app and go to start charge, and it will send a command to the car to start charging, and that will also initiate the charge. So not ideal, but it's fairly simple to bypass the issue. Looking at the charger here, again, everything looks good and feels high quality. Comparing to the Tesla tap, the Electron adapter is larger, but not significantly. Both are pretty small and fit in the EV6's little frunk fine.
Comparing the internals, you can see there are slight differences. The electron has portions that separate the prongs inside. So anyway, do I recommend the Electron Tesla to J1772 adapter? That depends. Cost-wise, it's about $100 less than the Tesla Tap Mini 60 that I posted previously, coming in at $150. I'll post a link in the description for you guys to check it out if you are interested. And ultimately, it's up to you to determine if the extra steps to get it to work with the EV6, Ionic 5, GV60 are worth saving the $100. It also depends how much you're going to use it. If you're only going to use it maybe once or twice a year at the random Tesla stations you might find while you're out, the extra steps aren't really that much of a deal. But if you plan to use it all the time, then I could see it being more annoying. One thing I will say is I talked to them about the issue, and it is something they're actively working through to potentially modify the design so it doesn't have the issue. So there could be an updated version coming down the road. But anyway, let me know what you guys think and if you have any questions on this. I'll likely be giving this unit away in the near future, so stay tuned for that. But thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.